we searched for a man named Jim Sonnet. And the legends folks tell may be true. Most call him gunman and killer. He's my son, who I hardly knew. I raised Jim's boy from the cradle. Till the day he said to me, I have to go find my father. And I reckoned that's how it should be. So we ride, Jim's boy and me. Hey, handsome, Mr. Uh... Baines, Ed Baines. I'm Will Sonnet. If you could help me take him to his room, I... I said there was rooms in the back. I didn't say there was for rent. Well, I need help from a boy here. Maybe a barn, a stable, whatever. I expect to pay for what I get. I don't ask for help so regularly, but when I do and don't even get a plain answer, I've been known to cause a heap of trouble. No brag, just fact. You aim that gun at me, mister. You better be prepared to use it. Get out of here. Of course, you better be ready to explain to the sheriff why you killed a man whose only need was a room for a sick boy. All I'd have to tell the sheriff is your last name. Son. Well, that's it. Your son James has been here, huh? He was here about a year ago, and he left a whole lot of grief behind him. Now you just pick up the rest of his kin and get. Well, I take him out there without shelter and he'll die. That's your problem. Well, I'm making it yours. Put the gun up, Ed. That boy looks sick to me. I got sons of my own, Mr. Sonnet. And I've got a farm. With a warm bed. He can stay there. I'm obliged to you, Mr. Uh... Murdoch. Mr. Murdoch? Murdoch helping that boy. Sure don't. Especially since it was Jim Sonnet that killed his son. sit up with him, ma'am. I don't mind. You hush and you leave. Both of you. This is woman's work.
Sonnet. Time to turn in, boy. It's late. Now. Boy acted like the folks in town when they heard my name. Jim Sonnet was here. It gets a lot of folks are scared of him. How long have you seen him? James? Oh, nigh on to 20 years now. And the boy upstairs? It's Jeff. He ain't never seen his pa. And that's what we're doing now. We're looking for him. What for? Well, Jeff's a man now, uh, mighty close to it. The man's got a right to look up his kinfolk, yes. Anyways, it's what he wants. What he wants, I want. Well, like I said, it's getting late. I reckon I'll bunk in the barn. If we had more room here, Mr. Sonnet. That's all right. I bumped as many barns that has beds and most of them more comfortable. <laughs> I guess maybe you're right. Yeah. Well, thank you for your hospitality. See you in the morning. Good night. Good night. Bob? Tom tells me that man's name's Sonnet. That's right. One upstairs. The same. Then how can you let I'll me... handle this in my own way. <laughs> Mr. Sonnet? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The boy's fever's worse. Let's go see him. There ain't no time. <laughs> Gonna need quinine to knock it down. I'd send one of my boys, but they're all out doing chores. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll go. Good. You go on to town and see Doc Morgan. He'll give you a note to the general store. They've got a supply of quinine. Never mind your horse. Mine's all saddled and waiting. Take it. I won't be long. Sell it with the note from the doctor. Well, it appears there's some mistake. You know a rancher named Murdoch? Vance Murdoch? Everybody does. Yeah, well, my boy's sick out at his place. He told me to ride in here and ask for Doc Morgan. Doc Morgan? Why, he ain't lived in town for the past five years. So I was told down the street. Murdoch must have made some mistake. You sure you talked to Vance Murdoch? Of course I'm sure. The point is I need that quinine mistake or no mistake. Well, I'm sorry, mister, but I can't let you have it without the doctor say so. But they told me down the street you only have a visiting doc here once a week, and I can't wait. Well, you'll have to wait. I don't know you. I don't like doing this, friend. But I reckon Murdoch will square it for me later. Right now, you hand me a bottle of that quinine. Now, come on, move. Don't turn around, mister, and lower that gun. He tried to rob me, Sheriff. My boy is sick. Vance Murdoch sent me. That's a good one. Vance. Now, that's the man, all right, Sheriff. The horse he stole from me is right out front. Circuit Judge will be here the first of the month, so then you stay put. Vance? Be right along, Sam. Murdoch. I don't know what you're figuring, but if anything happens to that boy... The boy is my concern now. But why, why are you doing this to us? You've seen my wife, her strange ways. She was a happy woman once before she got sick. Your son did that. My son? Jim's son had rode up to our place one day. And the rest of us were gone, all except Emma and our youngest, Billy Boy. 
Jim Sonnet killed Billy Boy, and he rode on. But what's that got to do with my grandson? The Bible says, an eye for an eye. I say a son for a son. When the boy gets well, we're going to kill him. We're going to shoot him down, Mr. Sonnet. Just like Billy Boy got it. shaky, but this fresh air sure smells good, ma'am. Now, I've told you not to call me ma'am. Yes, ma'am, but I... Now, you call me Ma. Just the same as you did before... before you got sick, Billy Boy. Ma'am, my name is Jeff. I don't... Twice now. You've been sick. That's all. Hey, Ma. Boy looks fine. You look fine, too. Best I've seen you in a long time. That's because he's back, Vance. And he's getting well. You stay out here now, Billy Boy. I'm gonna go in and make us all a big family-style breakfast. Now, y'all come when I call. You hear? We'll come a-running, Emma. Sure will, Ma. The first our Ma's been in the kitchen in a year. Mrs. Murdoch thinks you're our son. Come back to us. I don't understand, sir. That's all right, boy. You'll be staying here with us for a while. Sir, I'm... I'm obliged you taking care of me like this, but... Where's my grandpa? Of course, you don't remember. He rode off. He rode away? That's right. He'd figure we'd take good care of you here. Grandpa wouldn't leave me knowing I was sick like this. I'm telling you a fact, boy. I know my grandpa for a fact, sir. You calling me a liar? No, sir, but I'm saying you're mistaken. I reckon I'd best be going to find my grandpa. Ben, now you listen here, boy. That woman has been sick here for over a year. You being here is making her well again. You're lucky. We're going to let you live. You're her Billy boy. Then, Billy boy, you stay. Oh, you can't just lock him up forever. I can keep him till your mother is well. Then I'll figure what needs be done. You fix him so your ma can tend to him. No, not in the face, not so your ma can see it. Help him, Ben. First you give me a toy knife, then you give me bad wood. What do you mean? I mean what I say. This wood ain't fit for carving. Yeah, it's best I could find. And that's a testament to your brightness. It's faulty. What do you mean, faulty? Well, take a look. Note the grain. It just don't run smooth. Look, take a look close. I don't see anything wrong with look, it. Look, hold it up there in the light. Note the fault. What fault? Oh, that one twitch and you died yesterday. Now lift that gun out slow with two fingers. Now unlock that cell door. Now get in here. Come on, get. Gee, I told you I was better than James. He had a curve two days. Just took me one swipe. You'll hang, son. No trial, no rights, nothing. You'll hang. Sheriff, my rights between me and my maker. And the good Lord don't believe in lynching. I'll reach up behind you and toss me that rope. Upstairs and... 
Don't be frightened, ma'am. What are you... What are you doing with my Billy? Ma'am, I'm not Billy. His name is Jeff. He's the son of the man who killed you, Billy. Killed? Killed Billy? Yeah. Look outside. Ma'am, if our stain could help you, or if his stain alone could help, we do a lot of considering about that. But it, it wasn't that boy that caused your grief, and it ain't his place to pay for the sins of his father. And I don't truly see where it'd help you to, to have him do so. Uh, he's, he's not Billy. No, ma'am. He was shot over a year ago. A year ago. And I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm truly sorry. That's what he said. The other one. Before he left. He said. I'm sorry. I'm Murdoch. I'd appreciate that, Mr. Solid. that slug out of Tom's shoulder. Well, it weren't very deep, and after all, I was the one to put it there. We was the ones that forced you to do it. The same as your son was forced to kill Billy. Come on. Jim Sonnet was forced to kill Billy. All Jim Sonnet wanted when he rode up was to buy a fresh horse. Billy figured... That was his chance to shoot a famous gunman. And prove something to you. Uh -huh. It was... It was hard to let the last youngin grow up. I never did give him enough rain like he needed. 
Maybe it was Billy at true first. But it was me that forced him to do it. I know them words come hard. I know they're well meant. And I want you to know that they's well taken. And we're pleased to leave you now, Mr. Murdoch. And the Lord go with you, Mr. Sonnet. Oh, you too, sir. Dear Lord, we've seen that you know best. You brought that woman peace of mind. We thank you and continue our quest for the man we both have to find.